Please note, before continuing, some people say that this method of earning bottle caps is an exploit or is a cheap way to earn easy money. Though I do agree it's a really easy way to earn caps, I like to think of it as starting my own pair fight water business in the commonwealth. And no, I don't think it's a cheat because you have to actually earn it by leveling up to acquire the perks required and also you gotta collect the resources to craft the machines. If you do want a more enchanting experience of gaining bottle caps, then this is not the guide for you. Before starting, I highly recommend acquiring the perks of at least rank 1 local leader in science, as these perks are important for sediment building. So first, find a sediment where there's a large area of water that can fit a couple of water purifiers. I chose Northagen Beach, northeast of the castle, because it's beach, and beaches surely must have water. Most of my resources are at the castle, so I made a supply line from the castle to the beach so they both share the resources, meaning I don't have to manually carry the resources over when building at the new location. So to create a supply line, you need rank 2 local leader perk. Go into build mode, find a settler, and press the button for supply line, which on PC is Q. Select the location and confirm. You can check the supply lines in the map by pressing C. In this video, I built 6 industrial water purifiers and 3 large generators which requires the rank 1 science perk. If you don't have the perk or enough resources for the setup I used, then you can just build the shitty versions of each purifier and generator, then later upgrade it if you wish to. However, the shitty version of the purifier only produces 10 water, as the industrial one produces 40. Here are the requirements for the setup I used that I will put on the screen for a couple of seconds. Just pause if you need to. Depending on how many wires and power pylons you may use, just add a couple of extra copper, wood, ceramic, and steel. Okay, building time. First, place on your water provides an area where there's water. Make sure they're fairly close to each other so you don't have to use a lot more resources from the wires and shit. Next, place down the power generators. Make sure you have enough to supply enough power for your purifiers. For the wiring part, connect the generators in a chain with wires by pressing space or whatever the button is for consoles. Then, connect the wires to your purifiers in a chain as well. Use power lines if you need to. Once the last purifier is powered up, you can see the amount of purified water you will make at the top if you have enough power. The water will be automatically collected and placed into a workshop of the settlement. I think it might take around 24 hours in game to collect everything, though I'm not entirely sure. In roughly around 30 minutes of doing side quests and looting after building the water farm, I made enough purified water worth over 1800 caps with perks. You can then go into each vendor and sell or trade with the water you've made or keep some for healing. Once you make enough caps, you can start building market stores in the same settlement of where the purifier is, then assigning each settler to each store. Not only is it easier for you to sell the water, but you also make caps over time that will be stored into the workshop. I will go more in depth of this part in the next video if I can be fucked. Thanks for watching.